<laughs> anyway, hey everybody, hey YouTubers, what's going on? I almost forgot to record this video. The <laughs> how can I forget? <laughs> For real. Anyways, if you are loving this thing on pink, because y'all, come on up. Mm. Mm. Stay tuned to see exactly what I did to achieve this color, y'all. I am digging it. It's something new, but hey, change is good. Change is good. All right, let's get into this color, y'all. So to start off, look at my baby back there. He's seven weeks. MJ. All right, so this is the Queen Beauty hair. I did purchase it from AliExpress, and it came with two stocking caps. Well, one stocking cap, two in there. And also, this is the wig. So it is 14 inch, 613 again, and it has clips inside. And this is it. It has a nice golden tone that I want. I did not tone it because I wanted that golden tone for the pink color. And it did also, of course, come with the band in the back, adjust band, which I use because I like that security, period. And right here, I'm just showing you the softness. Surprisingly, y'all, it was real soft. Let's get into this color, though. All right, so got to be glue. You spray that on the lace. Make sure you blow dry it, too, just for that, well, that protection you want the color to go on there. That's the no, no, no color on the lace. So what I'm using is the Kiss Temptation Rose Gold, one bottle. And I did end up using two bottles of that, by the way. So I will put that in the, down below in the description so you guys know. And the Adore Cotton Candy. Now, the reason why I want to use this is because I wanted it to be a bit more pinky. Instead of like the regular rose gold, I did want more pink in it. So I did add some Cotton Candy Adore tone. If I can put it in the golly. All right, there we go, baby. Get it together. All right. And then... Water method, so you do want to use boiling water. I just use the hot water for my sink because it gets really, 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 really hot. So I just use that and make sure that you stir this up, guys. Okay, I cannot stress this enough. You want to stress, stress the fact that you want it really, 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 really mixed well. No chunks because if you have chunks, as soon as you emerge that wig in there, baby, guess what you're going to get? <laughs> A chunky, patchy wig. So that's a no-no. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and strand test the hair. And this is just to see if, you know, if you're all right with the color. It's best to do it this way. Major tip. Try to do it this way. So then if you don't like it, you can always adjust the color. So that's what I like to do. So I did add more of that cotton candy because it wasn't, like I said, I wanted more pinky. I was really feeling a pink vibe. As you can tell by the shirt and Mitch match skirt I got on. But we ain't gonna pay attention to that right now. I'm in the house. So yeah, this is the color that I came up with. And I was like, okay, I like it. So I did just submerge that wig in there like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you will see me go at this for a while. Only because you want to make sure that you have that color really on that wig, honey. Don't just dip it in, dip it out, okay? I know watercolor method is quick, but make sure it ain't too quick that you looking real crazy. So make sure that you really get that wig in there to see the consistency of the color. So that's really pretty, and I was digging it, but keep going because, no, I need it to really show, okay? I like vibrancy, and that is what I'm going to get. So I did add more of the cotton candy. I took the wig out and I was like, oh, I really don't like that tone. So I did use more of the cotton candy adore, as you see here, mixing it up again. And then I'm going to put it back in there for a second round. Mm -hmm. And then I did go ahead and put like the lace part first because I noticed that the roots were still really, really blonde. So if you do see that, try to put that in there first. So then the water will kind of grabs that first, then the ends. And like I said, y'all, this is just me just going at it because I just really wanted that color to stick. <laughs> and we we're like, girl, how much more? But that is really what is the key in watercoloring. I feel like a lot of people just don't pay attention to. Just got to make sure that it's on the hair really, really well, y'all. Again. <laughs> Look at that. You see? It's coming too long. It's coming too long. 
Look how pretty. Yes, hunty. You see that rosiness? That's what you're, sh well, what I was shooting for. Of course, like I said, if you don't want that rosy tone, don't use the cotton candy. Just purchase three bottles of the Kiss. Three. Look at that, y'all. Perfection. I don't know about perfection. And my eyes is perfection. Might not be in yours, but. <laughs> yes, yeah, my head. Period. But no, this color is bomb, y'all. Try it. Please try it. Let me know if you like it. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. I really do appreciate it. And, honey, our channel grow. Our channel. Not just my channel. Our channel, okay? So, again, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Or leave any comments on what you think I should have done or what y'all want to see next. Mwah.